China and the U.S. are expected to exert more joint efforts to improve bilateral economic and trade ties. What are the expectations for U.S. Treasury Secretary Jenny Yellen visit? So this was the second time that Secretary Yellen has been to China in the last 12 months. Um, second time she also met with the business community. Um, this time she had, um, I think, a larger schedule. She's in Guangzhou and Beijing uh, this time. And uh, she had said that you know, where we are with relations now versus a year ago, definitely uh, U.S.-China are having better relations, more detailed discussions. Um, one of the things that's happened in the last year was that U.S.-China have set up a number of uh, dialogue mechanisms, and there's a couple with the Treasury Department, uh, and she did mention that there have been a number of good discussions between uh, the U.S. Treasury Department and their counterparts in China, uh, including you know, broad ones and also technical discussions. The American Chamber of Commerce in China reported that a significant number of surveyed American enterprises expect improved profitability in China with over 50% considering China as their top investment destination or one of their top three choices. So what are your observations? Right, so um, I mean, many of the world's most advanced uh, manufacturing goes through China. So China continues to be a place where, you know, U.S. companies have invested long term and they continue to see um, success in terms of, you know, global supply chains and manufacturing. But uh, certainly climate is an area where U.S. and China can cooperate. Uh, it's very important. We're sort of the two world's largest economies, also two of the, the largest um, carbon emitters. Uh, so we need to work together to make sure that we're also tackling climate change. And if other countries see the U.S. and China take seriously um, commitments there, then that will, uh, number one, it'll move the needle, but two, it will also lead the way for others to follow our example. Uh, so it's very clear to us who work here that China is trying to make itself more attractive for investment. Uh, last August, there were the 24 measures which were announced, and we're following that closely. Um, we do understand that China wants to be an attractive uh, destination for foreign investment, and so one of the things that AmCham China can do is we continue to give feedback uh, from our companies about where we have challenges. Well, I mean, many American companies are in China partially to produce, but another group are here because of Chinese consumers. And so, you know, many companies continue to see China as a, uh, a market with potential to consume. And so, um, you know, all countries go through economic ups and downs, and certainly we're rooting for China to see its economy grow. Uh, and we hope that much of that comes through consumption as well as uh, just production. What other expectations are there for Sino-U.S. relations and in which areas of cooperation will there be new breakthroughs in the future? Right. Well, I think, first of all, uh, Secretary Yellen said this and others have said this as well. The U.S. and China have very robust trade. Um, you know, each of them is a very significant trade partner for the other. So there's plenty for us to gain through two-way trade uh, in both directions. Uh, also, there are a number of issues that the U.S. and China are critical for for the globe in terms of you know, climate uh, and other issues where uh, if the U.S. and China don't cooperate, um, no one can make progress.